Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to do my favorites of, this can go both ways. It can be my favorites of 2020 as a whole, but also my current favorites. So, and or, take it as you will. I actually filmed this yesterday and it was a total mess. So we're gonna regroup and try and do this again. Hopefully it's gonna go by a lot faster. So with that said, let's get into my favorites. Starting off with primer. This is my favorite primer find, I think probably in years. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I love how tacky it gets on the skin. It doesn't help with my pores. It doesn't help with keeping my face matte and oil free, but the adhesion that the foundation gets with this primer is just so good. And I'm thinking when I get the chance to get a Sephora order out my way I'm definitely gonna pick up the full size because this is just so good I am about two-thirds done with this and I'm kind of sad because I didn't get the elf package I was hoping to get so I'll be out with that primer Rawr. foundations I couldn't pick one so I have these two with me this first one is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation I use it in the shade 80 medium W and for an affordable product this is so good it's a solid medium coverage the pump dispenses quite a bit of product so if you're one to prefer just having like a more controlled pump then just be careful with this but i really like it it works well with my skin it doesn't move around it doesn't do that cracking business that sometimes you can do when you powder over foundations and so for the price and the quality this is really good i had bad luck with the something filter concealer and so I had hesitation about this but I'm definitely glad I picked it up. I also have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I use the shade 240 and much like the color pop this wears on my skin very well. I love the coverage. I'm a medium coverage kind of person now. It looks good on the skin but the perk of this one as opposed to the color pop is that for some reason I don't know what it is but the universe decided to go in my favor. When I go out to do like errands and stuff I've used this foundation more than than once and I've used a mask and the transfer is like minimal I wish I could show you my mask it's over there and it's too far with all this setup but basically it has like the most minimal transfer of foundation and I sweat and it's hot and to say that about a foundation that isn't full coverage long-lasting those are the ones that usually stick like glue to my skin this is surprising. I'm so glad I got these two foundations. Next up, we have the Fenty Beauty. I think this might have made my list last year. Anyways, this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick, and this is in the shade Mocha. I use this all the time. I have a backup of it ready to go. And the main reason for that is even though this is a cream, it does dry down to a matte finish. So on my oily skin, this just stays on a whole lot better and doesn't enhance or add to my already oily skin so I think I've mentioned this before I'm not gonna talk too much about it but I still love it next up I have my Mac build my own palette and these come from the sculpting line I have bronzers and I have contours in this palette and I almost decluttered this a few times just because it's so bulky but every time I use it I remember why I like it if you're interested in a MAC bronzer I would go with these pans that you can buy individually just buy a palette for it they have singles and doubles I think they do but these are much creamier and pigmented than the ones that come in the compact mark my words if you can go to a store and they're allowing you to do swatches swatch both I think this is only available at freestanding stores swatch so both of them you're gonna see the difference this is a hundred times better than the compacts and I've tried two version of compacts from Mac this is just their best when it comes to a sculpting products and what sealed the deal for this making it into the video is because I was thinking of which bronzer I use the most within the year and this is definitely it. For highlighter, this first one here is Narzis Ibiza and it is the highlighter that I have on my skin. I think this is the prettiest gold highlighter that I have. It does come off gold on the skin but not to the point where it takes or draws too much attention to it. I think it's the perfect golden hue for someone with my complexion where it doesn't draw too gold. It just really looks and matches well with the complexion, almost like it blends into it. So I'm 
definitely happy that I decided to pick this up because it was a little bit of a whim purchase. ColourPop. We have ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Wisp. I'm so shocked that I love this as much as I do. This was very much a whim product. I just wanted to try the formula and I've been using it like crazy. I don't know if you be able to see the indentation I've put in this. I've been using this non-stop. The way that it looks on the skin is absolute perfection. ColourPop. Why has it taken me so long to try this out? And I would say that for people with my complexion, I would go with this as opposed to Flexitarian. I think Flexitarian is a little lighter for the complexion. This just looks like ice on the skin, but like in a good way for tan complexion, if that makes sense. So happy with that product. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put it out there into the universe. That is my favorite highlighter pick of 2020. Who would have thunk it? Guys, I'm already starting to sweat. I think if I had just done the setup where I'm at my table, I wouldn't because I don't have these many lights on me. But it's just so hard when you have studio lights and a ring light and just your room light. It's, it's just a mess. Okay, for blush, it was so hard for me to like keep it to a minimum, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. This first one here is Clinique's Cheek Pop in Melon Pop. This is very special because I got this at the beginning of the year. And after trying this, I said, man, I really wanna try different formulas from different brands and then came all the other blushes that followed this so this is definitely where it started I love this shade it's a very healthy sheen but the color on my complexion just brings back kind of that youthfulness that youthful glow because it brightens up the face without doing too much so you're the reason I got everything else thank you Mac I know, uh, Max making it again. I, they just know how to get to me. This is Max Glow Play Blush in So Natural. I was having the hardest time saying that when I tried to film this yesterday. It was like a tongue twister. But this shade, I think this is my favorite blush find of 2020. I really just wanted to try out the formula. People were speaking highly of it. And then I saw this color and said, that looks like a good pick. Oh my goodness, if you want like a natural flush, just the slightest hint of color on your cheeks to uplift your whole look, but you don't want to go overboard, almost like you're not wearing makeup, this is such a good shade. And the way that it looks on the cheeks, it's a sheen, but not sheen from shimmer, but more so sheen from like just the slightest bit of like wetness on the cheeks. This does have a bit of creaminess to it, and that might be why, but it's just so beautiful. I have three or four other ones on my wish list. That's how much I like this product. Guys, I couldn't do it. It's too hot. I need to get rid of my hair. For brows, I have the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. I use the shade Latte. I will say that the shade is a little warmer than my AVH one, but it's really not a noticeable difference. It looks fine on my brows, but I've been on the hunt to try and find like a waxier, stiffer formula similar to the ABH Brow Wiz, and I think I found it in this. I've since bought backups of these because I like having the affordable option to my ABH one which I think is $24 so yeah I I talked about this a bunch on my channel already I use it all the time and it's like easy peasy work so I'm grateful grateful say no to creamy brow products at least for me I have one lip product to show you and I mean duh this is probably what you were expecting to see this is the ColourPop Luxe lip oil in the shade Dewdrop. now it looks a little creamy in there but that's because because I go directly onto my lips even if I have color on it but this is the formula I've been waiting for lip glosses to come out with a lot of lip glosses are like sticky or plumping and I understand that for the most part that's like to enhance the feature of your lips or to make sure that the product lasts longer this will not last long on my lips but i would much rather go with something comfortable and reapply than have something sticky and just can't wait to take it off out of all the purchases i've made in 2020 this is definitely top three and that says a lot for a lip product to make top three for me no thank you okay let's end with some eyeshadows what do you guys think you guys guess which one i'm gonna show you I think it's pretty expected of me. But this is the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. This is the Holiday 2020 release, the big mamma jamma look. Ugh, I don't remember the last time where I felt this inspired by a palette. Every time I look at it, 
I feel inspired. I want to play with makeup. And when I do play with the makeup, I love the way that it looks. And most of these are shimmer shades. And without reaching for another palette, I still come up with stuff that I really enjoy the outcome of. I think Pat McGrath overall for 2020 has been my eyeshadow obsession. I ended up purchasing five total, I think, this year, but no regrets because her formula is really unlike any other. And I hate to say that because it's so expensive and I wish everyone could be able to you know try it out because it really is something else i remember when abh started coming out with the palettes when modern renaissance came out soft glam there was this like boom of interest in abh and i kind of feel like pat mcgrath has been that for the luxury products and i just love them so much this eyeshadow look is with a bronze seduction i love it too like pat mcgrath is so good so good. Lastly, I wanted to shout out Mented Cosmetics. This is a black owned beauty brand and I wanted to shout it out because one, it's very affordable. Two, the shade selection is more geared towards people with medium to darker skin tones, which is rare. There's only really one light shade in here, but still it shows up on my complexion as a transition shade. And I also did research on this company. I didn't want to go with a black owned beauty brand that was already like in the know people knew about the company so I did research on Google and after I found Mented I started doing the social media checks and I decided that's what I was going to go with and this eyeshadow palette has been wonderful I have never created a look that I didn't like mind you it is a more powdery formula but still when you blend it on your eyes it's like butter it's so good so if you're interested you can check out Mented Cosmetics at mentedcosmetics.com no that was not sponsored Answered. I just really enjoy that palette. All right, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna try and do this outro real quick, but thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. This makeup look can be found on Instagram. You guys know the drill. First link in the description box down below where I will post a photo of this makeup look along with all the products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Long, 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 long. Oh, 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 Yep, Pat McGrath did it. Can you guys see my plant? <laughs> my mom repotted everything because I nearly killed one. She said, hey, let me take that plant off your hands because it's dead. It wasn't all dead, but like some of it was dead. So that's why you have this new plant. Thanks, mom.